Hey guys, Raptor Jesus here. Uh, thought it was time for another video. Uh, I've been, you know, getting some more subscribers that have asked for uh, new videos, and also the occasion for this special video is uh, that a guy on the um, on the subreddit uh, for depth asked about advice concerning the Thresher, and I said, well, yeah, you can check out my channel. But then it turns out that I don't even have any, um, that I don't even have any uh, Thresher videos up on this channel. So I have to make one, right? Um, it looks like it's going to be some tough competition, so I might actually get my ass handed to me um, because these are like pretty decent level divers, and they have one level hundred. Uh, this guy also exclusively plays diver almost, so. They're, they're experienced divers, so I might get mass handed to me, but I'm trying to explain at least um, what the reasoning behind building certain things on Thresher is and um, what you should do. But in general, as a rule of thumb, what you always want to do or, you know, uh, watch out for is you want to um, max your E ability. That's what you want to do. And... Um, want to max it as quick as possible because... Um, Thresher is a weak shark in terms of HP. Uh, he dies pretty quickly, and so what you want to do, and you don't, ha and you have very weak thrashing damage. So what you don't want to do, or what you need to have, is you need to have um, a lot of a, a, as much damage as you can have as fast as possible, and that's kind of the burst ability of the Thresher with the E. So that's why you max it. Um, you can see these divers hanging around all in the same corner, so I can't go in from this direction. Right now, my shark buddy is also not moving much, so I think it's going to be on me to actually... But yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty far though. I have to... I have to really... Yeah, okay, <laughs> I got one, but... Uh, they're actually smart, uh, because you can see they were covering all the angles, all the entrances, and... Um, yeah, I was just, I, I had to go basically, and now I died because they're still covering all the entrances, but I couldn't see that one because um, he was still in spawn protection. I love the spawn protection. Uh, and my shark buddy, he's, yeah, he didn't go in with me, so, uh, and that's bad because he's, I think, a Mako, and when you're a Mako and you don't, you don't capitalize if another person goes in, we're both weak sharks, so I don't have a tank shark to, you know, tank hits for me. Um, that's when this is going to get hard. But, uh, well, I'm trying whatever I can do to actually uh, get some kills here. Um, so for Thresher, yeah, the, the most important core build is max your E ability and then get a powerful tail, um, hangry, as well as... Um, Hangry as well as um, serrated teeth. So the, gen the, the the general most basic build that you can and should have is max out E ability, hangry, powerful tail, serrated teeth, and then um, razor fins. But razor fins you have to get to first, so you know. And I'm I'm pretty bad just now. Uh, I should I should get these skills, but I don't. Um, whenever you're having trouble, and that's why I told uh, this guy on Reddit too, when you're having trouble getting kills, right? That's... Yeah, I just set him up to die there. Uh, I, I missed the lunge, but I dodged him uh, well enough so that he had... Uh, so he could be eaten by my Mako buddy. Um, can see these divers also, they're looking in my direction so they know that I can come from here. They probably suspect it, so I'm just gonna go through here. Um, if they see you looking, if if they're in, looking into your direction, don't swim at them directly, because it's just silly. It's just stupid. Um, there's no need to do that because, especially if you're a low-level shark, a uh, low HP shark um, with a small HP pool. I mean, um, and you're swimming into divers that are experienced and have good aim. You're just gonna get blasted. And, yeah. Uh, 
I'm not doing a good job right now. Uh, but at least we got one guy to rage quit. That's good. Um, um, I'm not doing a good job per se because I miss a lot of lunges. I miss a lot of uh, kills that I should definitely have secured. So that's pretty bad. But, and that's exactly what I meant with swimming head on. Uh, he, I think he got like one shot off me with the ADS into me with the ADS rifle, and he took my my complete health bar away. So when I had him in my mouth, I couldn't finish him off. Um, and yeah, now they're yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Chill the fuck out, bro. I don't, I don't want your shit. Get away from me. Fucking ass. I hate that. I hate shark shields, of course. Oh, now the next rage quit. I love that. I mean, it makes it easier f for us to win this game. Um, despite me being bad. Um, so, two of the guys that almost exclusively play Diver, um, not the level 100, but the others, um, they left. So. This is every Thresher's dream here. This right here. This is every Thresher's dream. Uh, got a quick quadra. So you can see. <laughs> you can see actually. But it only happens now because there's like two bots in there. So they're pretty stupid. But um, this is what Thresher can do. You can decimate the, co the, the whole team. The whole diver team. If, if you get a correct angle. And if you manage to. Um, if you manage to to have the razor fins too and you just damage them uh, like hell but i didn't even have razor fins so i was lying but still the threat uh the the e active at the tail damage was good enough um of course now we are pretty ahead i have the uh i have serrated teeth as well so now it's it's a done game um although i believe that if they actually had not quit on their team. Um, they could have won this. Um, and I actually did not do that bad from the scores, but I felt like I was playing pretty badly, so please excuse me. But um, for, in terms of the playstyle, yeah, you can just basically watch me do it, but what you need to do is you, you go in, try to grab someone and then powerful tail into the rest of the team while pressing E. So you basically lunge, grab someone, press E and start thrashing wildly and if you can and have the uh, you know the coordination or the, um, the the vision to do so swim into the other divers um, because the thresher this is where he shines this is where he does um, most of the damage uh, that he can do, uh, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, oh, he saw me. Damn. Um, so, yeah, there's also this fun game that um, sometimes level 100 divers do, when they, uh, uh, sharks do when they're against um, lower level divers, which is, um, wow, now they all left. Um, and yeah, that game is, uh, you only use your E abilities, so you cannot, um, you cannot grab a diver and eat him, you can only, uh, do drive-bys and press E, um, and if you grab a diver accidentally, you have to, uh, let yourself get killed, um, so, and you can't, you cannot, uh, get serrated teeth either. So you just have to swim and press E and kill people with the E damage, um, which is fun and a bit challenging, of course. But um, yeah, uh, I hope this um, kind of helps you to to see some of the uh, Thresher gameplay. Uh, I might actually, I don't know, I might actually try to get another game. Maybe then uh, the video is going to be longer, but. Um, you can actually see um, some more Thresher gameplay because I have a quest anyway, uh, as you can see here, nice little quest 
um, get three wins as a hammerhead or a thresher so I might as well use this um, to my advantage but of course I might have to edit this uh, video out um, I have to have to edit the video because it's possible that I have like a uh, five minutes waiting time um, that would suck I just want to show you some good gameplay um, in terms of the last game I would say that um, in general they were playing well especially at the beginning when I pointed out they were covering all the exits uh, or entrances uh, if you will depending on who you ask <laughs> um, but and yeah I, p I pointed out that the the diver buddy that I had he wasn't he was uh, the shark buddy he wasn't uh, going in with me um, so um, we weren't playing that well in the beginning but still we managed to get some kills and as I said in many of my videos um, prior to this um, when you can trade one for one as the shark early game um, it's always it's worth it because um, you're gonna be you're gonna get stronger faster than the divers um, if you get kills early and that means that if you trade one for one it's always a, a good trade and if you get more and especially with the thresher of course if you do it correctly your tail whip the e damage the e ability does damage in an uh, area of effect radius so it damages multiple people which means even if you just kill one of them you probably damaged more than one and set them up um, for you know a kill when you come back after respawning so um, trading one for one is always good but I think crucial for the gameplay of Thresher is to really really um, observe how the divers are moving and to see what divers you can go for and this goes for any shark pretty much but um, with Thresher as well as I think Mako obviously and I, uh, yeah also Goblin I will, I will do some Goblin videos too in the future in this in the near future um, but yeah all of those three sharks are pretty much low HP sharks and it's important to come from angles that allow you to get in there and get the kill without being shot um, while doing so. Because if even, and you saw this in the last video too, even if I get like shot once, it can already screw me over and, and take take away my, my chances of getting the kill. So it's really important to come from angles that the divers are not looking at and that you move quickly and try to avoid and, and you know keep the divers guessing as to your movement. Um, this is another pretty good map for Thresher and I've just talked through the queue time so I, I'm, I'm just gonna upload the video like it is. This is another uh, of course famous map Galleon, very diver centric. Um, I'll use the beautiful or at least funny looking uh, devil swimmer thresher skin uh, <laughs> that I got from the last uh, Halloween event um, and yeah I'll just give you some more gameplay some more info on um, what is going to happen um, saw my little uh, face rig uh, interface there face rig is the program that I'm using to give you a bit of a to give you a bit of a meta commentary <laughs> uh, phase rig yeah great fun application um, so yeah this is the little devil thresher show it to I'll show him to you for going in I think it's a nice skin and he has fire coming out of his tail um, okay these guys are already using a pad right at the start I think this is a dumb idea but um, well, got them one kill. But yeah, whenever I see a, a, a pad, I just have to go and, and destroy it because I hate pads. I think they're stupid, uh, and I hate that people 
can you people that are bad at aiming oh my god what, what did i do there jesus christ um people that have bad aim uh can just buy it pat and and, and and score kills and i think it's a pretty it's pretty dumb i don't like it um and it can be abused pretty well uh because the pat does in my opinion the pat does too much damage i can't see it where is it oh it's in the back oh my friend got it okay um yeah, so this is what you don't do against Threshers, my my dear divers. Don't do that. Don't group up in a small enclosed space against a Thresher, because that is exactly what happens with the Thresher. And that's why it's strong. This burst damage and the, the extra damage that you get from the tail. Um, but you can already see if you if you look at it, uh, if you like play the video in slow. Uh, slow motion you can see actually um, because you know when you have the diver in your mouth you can see how long it uh, the, the little um, indicator turning from green to red and you know when it's very red it, it's close to killing him um, you can see how uh, much damage you do because once you grab someone and use the E ability they're already like at an orange level of health so uh, that just shows you how strong the E ability is. Um, see, it's green, it's green, it's yellow, no, it's red, no, it's dead. Um, and that's to show you how, how strong Thresher is damage wise. But at the same time, of course, um, you have to make, you have to hit your lunges. I just earlier where I said, "Oh my God, what did I did there? What did I do there?" Uh, that's why I really, really badly missed the done a lunge, um, and yeah, of course that's always embarrassing. A little hundred. Please explain the game to me. Someone, someone explain me how. <laughs> explain to me how to lunge. <laughs> um, because I suck at it apparently. <laughs> So, um, yeah, these guys are decent levels too, although I don't think they're, that was a god spot there, as you can see we both couldn't get that diver, uh, both me and the uh, great white that I'm playing with here, tried to get to that one diver and he was stuck below Steve between Steve and the floorboards and um, pretty much he was invincible we couldn't grab him um, and, and these spots exist um, on many maps throughout depth uh, and it's always an annoyance but I guess you know I mean it's rare for people to really abuse those because uh, it's not really clear when they work and when they don't. I just got a double kill here. Is, oh, I got one guy in my mouth. The other guy was low HP. I used my E and I instantly killed him because he was uh, already damaged from uh, before. And that's what I mean with the the strength of the AOE of the Thresher um, because you do that much damage. And if people don't buy health kit, um, which is another thing, most people don't buy health kits. And that's why uh, serrated teeth is great all the time, but especially as Thresher, if you're having trouble, ouch, uh, if you're having trouble with the kills, get serrated teeth. Because serrated teeth and your maxed E will make for some guaranteed kills unless the enemy team buys health kits and most of them don't care enough to do so. Because if they use the health kits that are on the map, as you may well know, those only stop the bleeding, but don't heal up the HP. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I suck. I really suck. Jesus. Uh, so, yeah, you just have to abuse the, uh, you know, lazy approach of your enemy. Uh, and yeah, get serrated teeth, max the E, and, um, You're good to go. You see now the damage is ticking. Um, the guy either goes to, uh, and of course, yeah, I haven't mentioned this, but if you're really snowballing, if you're really rolling, you can get vitalized frenzy, which means you go in, 
you grab someone, you press E, you kill him, and then you press E again. Like this. Um, although I failed the lunge there because he was again stuck in the floor and I could get at him. Um, but you see now the guy's going out. Bam, he's gone. I missed him, but doesn't matter. Damaged him enough. Yeah, see? That's Thrasher for you. So Thrasher is really uh, an annoying shark to play against if he's played well, although he does have downsides. And um, against good divers and divers that can actually aim, um, you're going to struggle for sure, but um, it's fun to play. I like playing the Thrasher. So, um, yeah, those were two games. I hope uh, I have been able to uh, shed some light onto, um, onto how the Thrasher uh, can, or in my opinion, should be played or is played by most of the people that have high level. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave me a like, subscribe or a comment. Um, and I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have. So yeah, um, see you soon in the depths. Bye-bye.